Johnny and then Nelson. This fucking happened. I went into into a match with a fucking Canelo, and he slept me, bro. He slept Ricky. me in the first round, and that's why I ended up playing Sugar Ray because he, he got me with the with the flash oh, knockout. Talk these two Man, I was mad. Ooh, I was mad. He, he took this 11 points from me, man. Slept me in the first deliver. fucking round. And just as quickly as it slows down, it heats back up. And this with that jab. All the talking has been done. It's time to start doing the walking. Situations like this, Todd, will either make or break a fight. If it's got the expectations from the fans of the people here, of the millions of people around the world, people like you and I oh, sat not. here. Ex this is not oh, the way the he wanted fuck? this fight to start. Let's see if he can get out of trouble. And they're down. Oh my God! Nice here to take the what full the eight fuck, seconds, bro. Canelo in the first One, round is ridiculous. Two, three, four, oh no, I can't let this happen. I can't let this go down like that. Not not fucking two Canelos on a row. He takes that jab. Final ten seconds here, and this has not been his round for sure. Damn. These two fighters promised us great action. They didn't give it to us. <laughs> you say you woke now? Fuck that Canelo gave me a knockout in the first round, bro. I do not like that. Oh, what a punch! Keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. Tactics out of the window. These guys just want to brawl. Got him with a clean right uppercut. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. <laughs> nice exchanges from both men in this round. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. Oh, man, you've got a swarm in your face. You've got to try and push him off, make him go into the rope. You've got to sometimes fight fire with fire. Hit the ball on the blind side of the referee. Get him out of here. That's going to be a tough fight, bro. Who scores with that right uppercut? This is a tough fight. This dude trying to fuck me up for real, for real. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Here we go again with this shit. Oh, he's, trying, he's trying to hit me with the real heavy shit, bro. I don't know which he's fighter gone. is... I'm telling you, he's gone. Who's going to be the first one to get caught? Hook. 
Who's willing to go where the other fighter won't? He blocks that right hook. There's an uppercut, a big uppercut, and his knees buckled that time. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He got out of the way of that right hook. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart, even though they were the one pushing the tempo? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want, because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there toe-to-toe -to -toe with them and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them. This is not good news for Ricky Hatton. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there God, are no damn, losers this boy in this hitting hard. <laughs> Trying to knock his fucking head off, bro. This dude is punishing this me. This fight is closer than two pages. I'm finna knock his ass clean out, bro. He got me fucked up. Through the hook, didn't land. That punch lands. And he fails to score with that left hook. Damn. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Nice exchanges from both men in this race. Jab. He didn't take that jab well at all. We hear that old phrase, second win. You, this round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Golly, this dude is Who's trying to kill right me. This dude is a straight That's murderer, bro. Is going to be the first to get rocked. Both men step back for just a moment. He blocks the hook. He parries away that left hook. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. What you've got to do, Tony, is anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to, you've just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope you're never going to know where the shots are coming from. You've just got to put in a guess. And they figure out the combination to this safe. How did 
Sydney absorbed that hook. Oh, and he caught him with a stiff jab. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. The problem with having a chin that... This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Shit. This one could go either way. Look across it. Look at... Which fighter's gonna get caught first? Gets out of the way of that left hand. Nice exchange here from both men. He got caught clean by a left hook. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab. It can be intimidating. Just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. Good idea, but misses with the left hook. Not a lot of defense here at all. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. This okay, fight is closer than like that round. Do want to box me, bro? You trying to box me hard? This one to get caught. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. No doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. You've got to be courageous when you're getting in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain then. And he caught him with a left hook. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you've cheated, now we're going to find out. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one.
Whew, I'm working on. He's I'm working on. Right now. Like that. I'm, happy. I'm working on. This dude is ridiculous, bro. When you've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses, how do you deal with it? You've got to ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable, drag them, get them complaining to the referee. Because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into the rhythm, the fight is over. got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses, how do you deal with him? These two are the perfect dance partners. Neither man really defending themselves. You're a power puncher. You're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. It's the one who draws first blood, Todd. That's what you've got to look at. If you can hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. By the way, the connect percentages have to be off the charts. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. What's up? What's this up, baby? Could not be any Ooh, closer to Johnny. Good that man. Good man. This Which fighter's going to get clipped first? Caught him with a left hook. You heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in a fight. They've got to relax. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Night, night time. Night, night. when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can sear it. So the round winding down now, and it's been another good one for him. <clears throat> I don't know about you, Johnny, but I'm getting a little bit sleepy. And here comes the 10th round. He misses with that jab. And just as quickly as it slows down, it heats back up.
They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body, use tactics. Sometimes it's so hard to actually outbox the fight and beat them on points. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He just misses with that big right hand. He just misses with that jab. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons. And Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Which fighter is I had to put them paws on this dude, on this boy. Put them paws on. One of these athletes is going to be the first to go down. Hit him with a left jab. Got him with a left jab. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you get... And the referee may be called into action here. He's taking a good look at it. And he goes down. That's Not it. Looking good That's it, right baby. Now. That's it. It ain't no more. It ain't no more. I would eat, 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 eat. E. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Both fighters up. I got the dub. All I got to do is not die. Made it to twelve. And he just missed with that left jab. someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses how do you deal with it when you get in there with someone that's so fast you're prepared to take a lick it because you gotta get some before you get in close big hook thrown but it doesn't connect exchanges from both men in this round. Fantastic punch. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer.
Jab does not score. Throws the jab, but does not score. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Woo! These scorecards were all over the place, Ooh, but in the end, I think the right I was all on his ass. You know what? I feel sorry for the loser because heart and soul was laid out. Man, right I won. He wanted to knock me the fuck out There's early. No regrets, and we I was trying to get them set up. They did the work. We enjoyed the action. Split I was decision, working on. Totally I was working the motherfucking ankles. We might see it all over again. Bobbing and weaving on that boy. But you know what time it was ultimately? That boy gonna dream about me. Night night time. Fuck scored this bitch 115 fucking Canelo. Ain't no way. Scored a bitch 115 Canelo. Man, no damn well. I knocked him out in those rounds. M Matthew King got the shit right. Fucking Luca got that shit right. Who the what the fuck was this guy watching? He gave me two eight rounds and I didn't even That boy tripping. But yo, that Canelo right there, I like the way that Canelo was fighting, man. Like, 